Story time, story time, story time. Okay, hold on. This is a little sad, a little sad story, but good story. Okay, so this was um, this was Sunday, last Sunday. This was July third. Yeah, this was July third. Okay, so this is Sunday, right? <sighs> okay, so the fucking because I think because the way that um July fourth fell this year, like people were like doing hella fireworks on Sunday and Saturday because that was like the weekend or whatever. So. The fucking dogs wouldn't shut the fuck up. Uh, I don't know how y'all's dogs react. Simba gets like hella excited, and Apollo is like, um, he's like terrified, right? <clears throat> so I take him out, I take Simba out to go to the bathroom. And he's like, he's like running around going crazy trying to figure out where all the fireworks are. And there's this, you know what? Hold on, let me, I'm gonna draw it out because I, I think I need to do a visual. Hold on, let me open up paint real quick. Okay, let me just draw real quick. So, uh, well, we'll do, no, we'll do black, it doesn't matter. Okay, so this is this is my house. I'm gonna show you my backyard, basically, okay? It's very, like, standard. So this is like a bird's eye view of my house, okay? So this is house. Okay? House. So this whole area in the back is my backyard. Can I actually fill it? Hold on. Oh yeah, let me fill it. That didn't fill the way I wanted it to. Now let me try it. We're gonna see if this worked. Nice, okay, that's my backyard. Okay, so, um, Simba's, so Simba's running around the backyard, right? And he keeps, like, he's running around because the fireworks are going off, so he's excited. He's running around. But I noticed that he kept, like, um, like, stopping and, like, sniffing this little area, right? So I have a tree in my backyard, right? So tree, let's say it's, like, it's, like, right here is a tree, okay? Um... Tree. Okay, great tree. I'm, this is this is great drawing. So I have a tree, right? So I noticed, like, let's say, like, right here, Simba's running around on the whole backyard. He's running back and forth. He, he's excited about the fireworks, and he keeps stopping at this area and sniffing on the ground over here. Now, keep in mind, this is at nighttime. It's like nine o'clock or something. I can't see. It's pretty dark, so. I don't know what he's sniffing, but you like you guys know when your dog like finds something on the ground, right? How they like they just like keep sniffing it. Like you know when your dog is being weird. So he's being weird. So I'm like, well, what the fuck is he sniffing over there? I don't know. I'm thinking like I, I don't want him to like fucking eat something. So I go over there. I see what's on the ground. There's a fucking bird on the ground. Okay, a little baby bird. Okay, a little 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 baby bird. Okay. And it's on the ground. And he keeps sniffing it. And I, I go over to it. I'm like, ah, oh, fuck. You got to be kidding me. So I, I grab his ass. I bring him back inside. Because I'm like, okay, well, I don't know what's like. Why the fuck? There's a fucking bird on the ground. And the bird is not making an, any noise. And it's not moving. I think this fucker's dead. I'm like, okay, the bird fucking died. I don't know what's going on. Right? I'm confused. So I'm like, okay, well, I can't leave it in my backyard. I gotta, I gotta move the bird. I gotta do something with it. I don't know what the fuck to do. So I get like a bucket. Come on, I gotta touch this fucking thing before I get fucking some sort of fucking disease. I'm gonna start a new COVID or something. So I'm not touching this thing. I think it's dead at this point. So I get like a bucket and like a little shovel and I, I go over to it. I scoop it into the bucket. It starts fucking chirping, going crazy. Like, so loud, I'm like, oh shit, this motherfucker's alive. Now, we're going to pause in the story for a second here. We're going to pause, and we're going to rewind to earlier in the day. Earlier in that same day, I noticed that there was a bird in my tree. I'm not going to shoot the bird. It's so small. If I shot this bird, it might explode. It was so tiny. It was like this bird would have fit in my palm. 
Now, though, so earlier in that same day, I had noticed that there was a fucking bird flying around my tree. And you guys know how birds are usually like, they're timid, right? They're like, if you go near a bird, it flies away for the most part, especially birds that are like not used to being around people, right? Like, I don't know, maybe if you're in like fucking uh, like a public area, it's a little different, obviously, but this is like a little, I don't even know what type of bird it is, like a little, it's not a crow, it's like a little sparrow or something, it was brown, but I noticed this fucking bird was being weird, especially when my dogs go outside, birds don't want to stick around, but this bird was like, he was going from the tree, then he was going to my fence, and then he was going like on top of my house, but he would not leave my backyard, even when I went out there, when the dogs went out there, this fucking bird just kept like hovering around that area. And I thought that was weird at the time. I was like, this bird got a beef with me or something? Like, we might, we have a problem? Like, I don't know what's going on here. Because I didn't want the bird around the dogs because, like, Simba would legit, like, probably try to fucking eat it. I don't know if he'd eat it, but he'd definitely try to, like, catch it in his mouth. So, I'm like, I don't want this one's going to get AIDS from this bird if he tries to get it. But I noticed this bird was hovering, okay? So, now keep that in mind, okay? The fucking bird is, like, he, he's staying around my house. So, I scoop up this baby bird... And I'm like, well, what the fuck do I do with it? You know what I mean? I don't, I don't know what the fuck to do with it, right? I'm like, it can't be in my backyard. I don't know where it came from. I'm going to just put it outside my yard in the front yard, okay? And if it's fucking mom is here and hears it fucking chirping, maybe his mom can come get it or something. I don't know. I don't fucking care what's going on. I'm not going to take this fool inside and feed him. So I just take the bird. I take it outside of my backyard. And I put it on the other side of the fence, like kind of in my front yard. So I'm like, not too far where I found it, but like, away from the dogs. Because like, there was no way I was going to let the dogs go back out there and eat this fool. Okay? Because like, at this point, I'm kind of protecting it from the dogs. Alright? So I leave it there. I don't worry about it. I go to sleep. I wake up in the next morning. I go check this tree. Because I, I was curious, like, what's going on? Of course, there's a fucking nest in the tree. Wait, there's an ad. Hold on. Is there an ad? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'll get, let's, we'll wait, we'll wait one minute. Let me let the ad finish. Okay, we back, we back. Okay. I, I waited. I didn't continue because I knew there was an ad. All I did is I, sh I showed basically the brown is my fence. So it's on like the other side of my fence, like in the front part of my house. Okay. That's like its new location is not very far from where I found it, really. It's just on the other side of my fence. Okay, so. Now. The next morning I go out, I go to the tree. There's a nest in the tree, of course. It's like, it's like kind of high up, so I can't really like look inside of it. You know what I mean? Like I don't I don't like I can't check it to see if there's more fucking birds in there. They're not making any noise if they're in there. I don't know. Um, and this is also like a week ago now, so if they're in there, they're probably they, I don't know how long they stay in the nest. They're probably gone by now, hopefully. But there's a nest there, so I'm assuming what happened is the bird fell out of the nest. But like also, like, don't, doesn't the mom, like, push them out the nest, though? Or no? Nah? I don't know if that's a thing or if I'm, like, crazy. But I swear, like, I've heard that before. I think the mom does that to see if they can fly or something. I don't fucking know. Anyways, the bird's, the bird's out. The next morning, I go, I, go to the, um, I go to the front, and I look at the spot where I had left the bird, right? I look at the spot where I had left the bird. I'm like, okay, let me see if this bird is still here. It's not there. The bird is not there. So I'm like, huh, okay. So the, so either, uh, I mean, a couple things could have happened here, right? Either A, the bird knows how to fly. I don't think so. B, the mom came and got the bird. Or C, some other animal got the bird. Either way, I don't give a fuck, dude. I did, I did the best I could do, all right? I protected it from my animals. If someone else got that hoe, not on me. So I go back inside. And, um, like, later on in the day, I'm just in the backyard with the dog. And once again, this motherfucker sniffing. And I'm like, oh, shit, this motherfucker did it again. Again, this motherfucker sniffing. He goes over to the spot and starts sniffing the fucking spot. I see, I see the spot. Now, keep in mind, this brown line is my fence. Now you want to know where the new fucking location of this bird is? It's back in my backyard. This motherfucker is back. Okay. He's right here. He's fucking back. Newest. The newest location. This motherfucker is back in my yard. 
Okay, now hold on. This is where it's kind of bad, though. This motherfucker is dead. He is completely dead. And there, he's getting feasted on by some ants. Okay? I, I now, when, now, I'm wondering, how did this happen? Okay? I don't know how this happened. I'm, I'm trying to think, like, what could have happened. I don't... I'm assuming the mom picked it up? Like, do you... Like, do you... Listen, the last I seen this motherfucker, he was alive. So, I don't know how he got back into my yard and died. But the last I seen this, though... He was alive. So I'm I'm guessing you guys think that the mom picked him up again? Or what like what like what how did he get back into my yard is my question. I'm I don't think he could fly. If he could fly, I don't know why he'd fly right there and just die. So I I don't know what happened, but by the time I saw him again, he was he was already being feasted on by the fucking ants. The ants did not carry him. I don't think you understand. This is a, a wooden, like, fucking eight foot tall, whatever fucking fence, dude. Like, it, there's no way for the bird to get back on the other side of this fence. But it was only, like, maybe, like, ten feet away from where I put it. But there's a fence there. So, I don't know how this motherfucker got over the fence. I Like, something picked him up. And put him back. <laughs> Something picked this motherfucker up and put him in my yard. I think it's the mama bird. I think maybe she was trying to save him. And fly him back to the nest. And dropped his hoe ass over there or what. Or she killed him. I don't know dude. But somehow this motherfucker got back into my yard. I also. I've considered that maybe. A person. Saw him, saw the bird outside of my fence and threw that hoe over the fence? Do you think, I, you gotta be fucking weird to do that. You know, you know how fucking weird you gotta be to do that? I don't know if someone would be weird enough to do that. Like, if someone was like walking their dog or something and they saw the bird and like threw that hoe over, I don't know, dude. You gotta be a fucking insane person to do that. But... That's the story of the bird. I don't know how he got back in my yard. He's dead. And he made a nice meal for about, you know, a couple thousand ants, I guess. But that is our story time for the week. We'll see you next week for the next story. I don't know. Never ever find the right words And there's no way this is real life There's no telling you're the right girl So I can only say that it feels right It feels right, it feels right Yeah, I can only say that it feels right It feels right, it feels right Yeah, I can only say that it feels right